Welcome, in this video I'll show you how to set up the security bot on Discord. So you will need to go to securitybot.gg and then click on add security. Then you can see we're being redirected to this Discord page where we need to allow an external application, so security bot to access my Discord account and also add the bot to our server. So I'll click on continue and I'll give the bot the necessary permissions, that's fine. So now when I go back to Discord, we should see that this bot has been added to our uh, Discord server and we can see the bot is now in our server. So I can now close this tab and we can actually go back to the security bot website, click on login, we'll yeah, authorize, so we'll, we'll basically log in using our Discord account and then we'll be in the dashboard. Now we can see servers, so I'll choose the correct server which is this one. And now we can see things to do, uh, everything's looking fine. And yeah, security doesn't have the highest role, which means it cannot punish some of your users, even if they bypass limits. How we can go about this is we can give the security bot a bot role. However, you can see if I'm a normal user, I'm, I have still, I'm still, I have still have a higher role than the bot. So how we can go about this is I can give a uh, another bot role, which is, let me show you how that works which is a role at the top. It has administrator permissions, but we're not doing, the bot is not being displayed at the top. So the bot is being displayed under the normal people, under the normal members, but they still have more permissions than anyone else. And that's how I go, how I go about uh, yeah, having these bots. So the bot now has all of the permissions. If I refresh the page, let's see if that changes. Yeah, we can see the bot has now um, yeah, has enough rights. So when we go to the anti-nuke section, we can choose or we can set limits and also the punishments. So anti-ban is, we can set a limit of five and punishment type is a kick. We can also choose ban. Then we have anti-kick, uh, choose the limit, choose the punishment type, anti-roll create, anti-roll delete, etc, etc. So, and we even have anti-mention, however, that is I think only a premium feature. Correct, yeah. Then we have instant punishment, so anti bot add. We can kick, we can kick a person. Then we have this right here, which we could enable. Anti prune, anti dangerous role permission update, anti dangerous role add. So we could enable this, and the punishment type is always a kick. Here it's also a ban. Let's choose kick, and now we've saved the changes. When we go to beast mode, set limits on the global actions done in your server, and let the beast punish anyone who abandon your rules. So you could also do this. Yeah, set the configurations. To be honest, I have not looked at this personally, so I'm not too sure what this does, but you would have to try out and see how this works. Or you could also just take a look at their documentation or join the Discord server and ask their staff. Then we have anti-raid, protect your server from raids. This is really uh, useful. However, this is anti-raid is disabled for a limit time and it's only available for premium users. Then we have verification, so verify new users. However, I've done my verification system with um, with the Dino bot with reaction roles already. Then we have moderation. Then we have whitelist, so we can whitelist members. So for example, um, if we add a person to this, these whitelisted people can ban without getting punished. Then we have logs and we have anti-spam, but this is also a premium feature only. So, and you can also use commands in this list. So if we would select this bot, you can also see that there are um, many, many different uh, commands which you, which you could also use. So whitelist uh, view users, and then we could choose a category and we would see the whitelisted users. In this case, I have not added any whitelisted users, so it's empty. But yeah, you would have to play around and see which ones, which settings are important for your server. But that's how you can set up the security bot on Discord. If this video was helpful, make sure to like the video and thank you for watching.